Welcome everyone to Front End Topics. I am Alan and today we are going to be talking about higher order components in React. So let's start. Uh, if you are using a JavaScript or any other functional programming, you I think you are uh, familiar with something that it's called higher order functions. So for example, if you are using map, filter, reduce, those kind of functions are using that concept. So let's go through a small example. Let's say we have fruits like banana, an apple, and orange. And we want to transform this array into a new array with the plural form of those fruits. So we can do something like uh, a map, which will receive a function with the fruit, and it will return something like the fruit with an S. So let's try that. Let me copy it. Let's remove this. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I can. Yeah, and it's working. Here you can see that we have bananas, apples, and oranges. oranges. So this is really important because here we have a really powerful abstraction, which is the higher order function. In this case, the map knows how to go through arrays and apply to each item a function, but it doesn't know anything about that function. And the function knows how to transform things. So we are splitting the responsibility um, in two different parts. Uh, that's great. So if we go to React, we can do more or less the same thing. So here we are going to have two components, the circuit info e list with some uh, which receive, receives uh, items with different strings, which are really, really secret for us. Uh, we have a super secret information, other secret info and a secret file, and also we have a secret text. Um, here is the implementation of those components. Here we just render a string and here we have the list of items. Uh, but now from the product team, we receive um, a new requirement, which is that depending on the role of the user, um, the user can see or not the secret information. So for that, we have our authorization role, which is going to be a global um, object with the user role. And here we have the uh, super user. And of course, if you are a user uh, with a super user, we you are going to uh, be able to see everything. And if you are a visitor, you won't have access to our secret information. So let's implement that. So here we, we will have to change the things a little bit. We have to check if the authorization dot user role is equals super user, then we are going to return the component. And if not, we return a message, something like, oops, you don't have access to the private info. Yeah, and if you check here, this is working we, because we are a visitor. 
and let's implement the same for the list. So here before returning we have to say yeah more or less the same. If the, authoriz the authorization dot user role is a super user, we return a list. If not, we return oops, you don't have access to the private info. And um, yeah, it's working really, really fine. Uh, let's check if we are a super user. Yeah, now we see everything. Let's go back to uh, the visitor. And let's say that now we have a third component and we have to do the same check. That's if you are uh, seeing the code, we have like a code smell because in each component we are checking things about authorization, but it's like we are mixing the responsibilities of the things. Uh, components, these components should just know about the information that uh, they render. They just know how to render things. They shouldn't be checking about the authorization role and that kind of stuff. Of course, here we are showing just an example and the logic it's not that complex but if you have um, if you are working with big application of course your components won't look like this um, they could be real uh, much more complex and you don't want to mix the the things and um, yeah this code could appear everywhere and that's not good and that's where the higher order components appear. So let's create our authorization higher order component. Hook. It will receive a wrap component and it will return the following thing. So if the authorization is a super user we return the wrap component. If not, we return a message. And now we have to implement this higher order uh, component. Now let's remove all of, th all of this from our secret text and now we need to wrap our original component with our authorization hook yes and if you check the circuit te text uh, it's much more cleaner now and we have to do the same for the list so we don't need this anymore and this we just need to wrap our original component with the authorization hook. Give me just one second. Yes, I'm back. So we just need to wrap the list with our authorization hook and it's working fine. That's great. So yes, if you check here, we are still um, showing the oops, you don't have access to our private info. And let's see if it's working for the super user. Yeah, it's working fine. So if we, uh, once again, if we check our code, it's really, really clean right now. Um, in the future, if we have a more complex um, logic for the authorization things, we are going to implement that here in our authorization hook, our component uh, our components don't need to know anything about the authorization things 
and we could also wrap this authorization hook with I don't know like a login hook or something like that and it will work fine and we are not mixing things we could do it yeah to make it more clear here of course we can uh, wrap things uh, wrap uh, this component I mean you can move this to a utils uh, file or something like that um, yeah I think this is really really powerful and if we compare this with the map it's pretty similar right here and yeah that was more or less everything uh, for today I hope this was useful for for all of you and see you until the, the next front-end topic bye